Hey guys, Salty Alley here, and thanks for joining me for another episode of Ocean State Aquatics TV. And today we're talking trachophilia, my favorite. Trachophilia is my absolute favorite coral. It is so beautiful. It comes in so many different colors, like every color you can absolutely think of, even yellow. Or is it yellow? You decide. <laughs> <laughs> so trachophilia is a relatively easy coral to care for. It looks stunning, and it looks like this really hard coral to keep, but it's actually not. And it does really well in an established tank, but as long as you keep your parameters stable, they do really well. You want medium flow for these guys, medium to lower, as long as they're not blowing too much. If they get blown too much, they have a very sharp skeleton underneath that flesh, so if they get blown too much, it can puncture the flesh with the skeleton, which will eventually cause uh, death in the coral. So you wanna make sure you keep a nice medium to lower flow on the sand bed. They like medium to lower light as well, like I said, down on the bottom of the tank is the best place to keep them. Uh, as far as parameters go, like I said, stability is key with them. So as long as you're keeping those uh, parameters stable, I'm talking a alkalinity of, of 8.5, 8 uh, calcium between 420 and 460, uh, and a magnesium between 1360 and 1400 is a good place to keep them. Uh, but they will do well as long as those numbers are stable. And they're just awesome. You can just enjoy them. And they are a slower grower. So you're not gonna see a lot of growth in a period of time. They take years to get big, but they're awesome anyway. <laughs> These are the best kind of glasses. I can see what they look like without the filter, and I can see what they look like with the filter. At the same time, you're just gonna close one eye at a time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. These are hot. Just look at them. Here, you guys got the without the filter. So these open brain corals actually really benefit from being fed. Uh, the best thing to feed these guys is actually a meatier, chunkier food. You can mix in like frozen mysis shrimp with your Coral Max food. Best food you can get. <laughs> Coral Max. <laughs> Coral Max is a really good, well-rounded, well-balanced nutritional food. Uh, you mix this with a little bit of chunkier food, like some mysis or brine shrimp, they will absolutely love you for it because they need to eat some food. They are in a coral that you shouldn't feed. Um, without food, they just will start to slowly kind of just close up and not look happy. So you want to make sure they're nice, well-fed at least once a week. A nice, good feeding will make them very happy. All right, guys, so I'm losing light here. It's late. We're going to get out of here. I just wanted to share you guys my favorite coral and one of the best corals you can get and I in my opinion but they're all great so thanks for joining us on another episode of Ocean State Aquatics TV come on in come see us and keep on reading